Hello, and welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to discuss stuff, and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today, I come to you with a word of warning, and that warning is about eBay. Yes, eBay is a very popular site, obviously. You can get some very good deals on eBay if you're lucky, and especially as a pipe person, it's a very useful resource to find pipes that you're trying to collect. There's a wide range of restored pipes, estate pipes, even new pipes on eBay. But I just wanted to come at you today and tell you that just because something is on eBay does not mean it's a good deal. I think eBay has a reputation as being sort of a bargain website, so people think that just because something's on there, the price is less than you would pay elsewhere on maybe retail websites, things like that. But I just wanted to show you several examples of the fact that I think sometimes sellers on eBay are kind of trying to get away with charging a little more because of the reputation for eBay being a bargain website. They think that they can throw a pipe on there and that people are going to buy it and not even check to see prices elsewhere because, oh, it's on eBay, so it must be a deal. And even though I don't have any problem with people just, you know, charging what they can get, if they put something on there and someone's willing to pay, you know, that's free market, that's capitalism, that's fine. But I just want you as the consumer to be aware that you really need to do your homework when you're purchasing a pipe on eBay. And then there are also cases where people have item descriptions that are just completely wrong. And sometimes I think it's on purpose. Sometimes I think it's just a mistake on the seller's part. I'm going to show you a few examples right now. And I just want you all to be aware and do your homework. So here's the first example of a pipe, which in my opinion is just way overpriced for what it is. The listing is for an Estello, Estello, an estate pipe, Costello Sea Rock Briar, print shape, KK, 24, 1970s, never smoked. If we look at the pictures here, we can see that it does have the rhinestone on the stem, which is indicative of a little bit of an older pipe. That used to be something they did for the U.S. market. They don't do that now. Now they have a uh, white bar on the stem. And if we look at it, the condition does look very good. Rim looks nice. The finish looks nice. It looks almost like the K's are in a small oval, which would be indicative of a slightly newer than 70s pipe. But I can't tell. The stamping is a little hard to see here, a little out of focus. So it could be 70s. It's hard for me to tell. But the thing with Costello pipes is just because it's from the 70s does not make it more desirable as a collector pipe. In fact, if anything, I would say the newer pipes are even better. The air hole is a little wider. Um, the draught is easier. It's not like an old 60s Dunhill, which would command a premium because it's more of a collector's piece and supposedly better quality than the recent pipes. I think, if anything, the newer ones are a little nicer. Um, even that being the case, 425, if we look at, uh, let's see, go to smokingpipes.com and their Costello pipes and the Sea Rock finish. Smoking pipes is a really good baseline kind of standard price that you would pay for a brand new pipe. We can see a double K Costello retails for 395 and they charge 335.75 for a double K. All the Costello Sea Rocks are are priced based on size and the Ks are in, are indicative of that. A double K is smaller than a quadruple K for instance. Quadruple K is one of the largest and then there's the G sizes which are the absolute largest and they all have standard retail prices. Double K standard retail is 395. Uh, triple K standard retail is 405, quadruple K standard retail is 425, but then they all sell for less on retail websites. So 335, 75 is what you'd pay for a double K. Brand new, this is a double K, they're trying to get 425 for it. You know, I, I don't think that's a fair price. I don't begrudge the guy for trying to get that, and if somebody's willing to pay it, then fine. But just know what you're looking at, know what a fair price would be for this pipe and make sure you act accordingly. We have another example here from the same seller. I'll probably try to cover over their usernames because again, I don't think this guy's doing anything wrong necessarily. He's just trying to get what he can. Again, 425, this is for a 3K 70s never smoked pot shape with an army mount. Again, looks like it's in nice shape. And again, the stamping's kind of hard to see, but I still feel like the small Ks in the oval should be a more recent pipe. But anyway, could be from the 70s. Looks like it's in good shape. I still think 425 is a bit much because we can get a brand new Triple K for 344.25. These aren't the same shapes, but they're all priced the same based on how many Ks they have. Um, so if you think 
an older pipe is worth more simply because maybe the briar is a bit older, yeah, fine. But again, I still think that 425 is quite a bit to be paying for a pipe that's in unsmoked condition. Um, then we have examples of pipes which are actually completely wrong in their description. Here is one. It says, Costello Sea Rock Smooth Freehand with rhinestone inlay. There's no such thing as a smooth sea rock, and Costello does not make smooth sea rock. Sea rock finish is a heavily rusticated finish. Everything that's a sea rock is heavily rusticated. If you look at the pictures here, you can see, if you can see around the stem here, it looks like this is a little narrow, narrower than it should be. And then as you look through the pictures, you can see a little bit here, this dot, rough dot, and then again, let's see, right here, you can see that this is where the rustication was just deep. Somebody sanded the rustication off of this pipe and that completely kills the value of this pipe. They're asking 225 for this. It's not worth anywhere near that much. And you can look at the stamping here. It does say Castello Sea Rock Briar. And this, there would have been like an oval of smooth area here and there should be other stamping. It should say, say Carlo Scotti. It should have the shape number and things like that. Um, hand, er, made in Italy or Cantu Italy. All of that's gone. So that all got sanded off. All that's left is this Castello Sea Rock Briar. Now, I wrote an email to this seller, um, and I just said, hey, just wanted to let you know, Costello never made a smooth sea rock. Their sea rock finish is always a heavily rusticated pipe. It really looks like someone sanded the rustication off of this pipe and then refinished it, which would lower the value a great deal. Just thought you might like to know before you ended up with an unhappy buyer. Now, I haven't heard back from the seller yet, um, so it's perfectly possible that they just made a mistake and once they read my email, they may correct that. So if that's the case, I'll certainly um, put that in the item or in the video description for this. And again, I'll probably try to cover up the seller's name because this could just be an honest mistake. But I have seen other Costello pipes that are supposedly Sea Rock that have been sanded smooth. I've seen this several times and you just need to be careful you need to know what you're buying you need to know about the stamping you need to know about the nomenclature on the pipes you need to know everything you possibly can about a pipe before you purchase it um, we have other examples of just pipes that i think they're not exorbitantly overpriced but here's a brand new peterson aaron ads it's for 120 dollars brand new but again on smokingpipes.com the aaron they all go for about a hundred bucks. So you could buy a brand new pipe from smokingpipes.com with all the guarantees that you get buying from a reputable retailer like this, you know, with returns and all that good stuff. Again, this isn't exorbitantly over, overpriced or anything. $120 is fine, but you can get it cheaper elsewhere. Just because it's on eBay does not mean it's cheaper. And then we have a Peterson Killarney red 120 for our shape 120 for $120. And again, on smoking pipes, you can get that same pipe for 104. So it's, it's not a rip off. These people aren't trying to rip you off on eBay, but you can get it cheaper. So just be aware, look, look through the major retail websites. If you have a certain pipe that you found on eBay and you think you want to buy that pipe, enter the pipe's name, in a search, see if there's any other retailers who are selling it, see what the going rate is on different websites. Just be informed. So those are just a few examples of how things can actually be overpriced on eBay and you really need to do your homework to know what you're buying and what a fair price is for what you're buying. And sometimes you can get a really good deal on an auction such as this pipe here. This was my beautiful little Peterson Deluxe. It's dirty now because I was just smoking it. I got this unsmoked um, for $70 on an auction, $70 with shipping from Ireland. So that was an amazing deal. People just didn't bid on it for some reason. I got a really, really good deal. But when you are bidding on an item, make sure you know what a fair market value for the item is that you're bidding on. And then make sure that you set a limit for yourself because it's very easy to get swept up in the excitement of an auction. You're bidding, you're bidding. Oh, I've got to beat this next high bidder. But know what your limit is. Know what a fair price is. Make sure you stick to that and you don't go any higher because you could end up paying too much. Sometimes a good alternative is just, is just to look at some really good reputable estate pipe sites because a lot of the times they know what fair market value is. There's going to be a little bit of markup because they do restorations and they also have a little bit of overhead. But often you can actually get a better deal on those sites than you will on eBay. 
But eBay can still be a good resource. Just be informed, be aware, be armed with the truth, and you'll do fine. Bradley for Stuff and Things, and this is Breaking News. Earlier in the video, we showed you a Costello pipe listed on eBay as a smooth Sea Rock Briar finish. I pointed out that there's no such thing as a smooth Sea Rock, and I also mentioned that I had sent an email to the seller to inform them of this. And as we were recording the video, we had not yet heard back from the seller, but we have now, and I have the correspondence here. I would like to read it to you, starting with the initial message which I sent. Hi. I just wanted to let you know Costello never made a smooth Sea Rock. Their Sea Rock finish is always a heavily rusticated pipe. It really looks like someone sanded the rustication off of this pipe and then refinished it, which would lower the value a great deal. Just thought you might like to know before you ended up with an unhappy buyer! Exclamation point. The response from the seller. I am well aware of Costello finishes. I highly doubt someone would have taken the trouble, would of instead of would have, taken the trouble to smooth out a Sea Rock pipe, so the most probable answer is that it was misstamped. My response. Well, I am also highly aware of Costello finishes, and I suppose it's possible that it was incorrectly stamped, but it doesn't look that way to me. I have seen several examples of Sea Rock finishes which have been sanded down. There is even a telltale rough spot near the rim of your pipe where it looks like the rustication was deeper and it couldn't be sanded down evenly with the rest of the bowl. Where is the rest of the stamping? Where is the K designation? Where is the Made in Cantu Italy? Where is the Carlo Scotti? I honestly think they were all sanded away. The Costello Sea Rock Briar which is on the pipe is stamped right where it should be on a Sea Rock, i.e. on the underside of the bowl as opposed to the side of the shank where pretty much all smooth Costellos are stamped. I was just trying to be helpful. If you don't agree with me, I would think that at the very least you would want to change the description to indicate the possible incorrect, incorrect stamping. A smooth Sea Rock doesn't exist. And the fact that all the other nomenclature is missing as opposed to listing it as in solid condition all around. Like I said, just trying to help you avoid a future return. The response to this message from the seller. The pipe is beautiful. Whether it's smoothed or misstamped, I am no expert on Costello pipes, and this is exactly how the pipe arrived from the consigner. Well, initially you said you were well aware of Costello finishes, but we'll leave that. The pipe is in solid condition. It has no damages nor issues of any kind at all. The pipe is a gorgeous pipe, and the shape and grain are beautiful. Why in the world would I downplay a beautiful pipe like this one? Buy it if you like it, just as it is, and if you don't like it, you don't have to take it. My obligation is to get the best price I can for my consigner and make sure the pipes I sell have no damages and this way protect my buyers as well. I was asked to sell this pipe as it is, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not here to teach nor give my opinion on anyone's pipe. I'm no connoisseur. So I leave that to you as a buyer to decide what you like and what you don't. This pipe is beautiful, whichever way you put it. If all you care about is a stamp, well then you buy pipes for the name and not the beauty, rarity, nor grain. That's not how it's done. Real pipe smokers and collectors buy pipes, not stamps. My response to this. A pipe which has had its original finish sanded off and which is missing its nomenclature is not in solid condition. Whether you believe the pipe is beautiful or not, as a responsible seller you should try to be as clear as possible when you list a pipe for sale. I am a real pipe smoker and collector, and as such I want people to know what they're buying when they purchase an estate pipe. I would think that as an eBay seller who values their feedback score, you would want the same. Judging by some of your other listings and by your feedback score, I assume that you had simply made a mistake about this pipe. So I thought I would try to be helpful and inform you of that mistake. The fact that you don't see the need to change your listing leads me to believe that it was deliberate subterfuge. I obviously can't compel you to change your listing, but I will certainly inform other people in the pipe community to stay away from this pipe, as it is not what you say it is. Cordially, Bra Victor 28 So, being the fact that I am a pipe collector and pipe smoker, and that I don't want people to get ripped off, and I do want people to know what they're buying, I am going to take all the little blocks I have off the seller's name in the previous video. The seller is Shiny Pipes. I'm sure some of you have seen their listings on eBay. Um, some of their pipes are fine. I'm sure you could still probably buy pipes from them and they'd be totally fine, but not in this case. If you find this pipe on eBay listed as a smooth Sea Rock Briar, let me get the actual official listing here. Just so I can tell you exactly what it is. <clears throat> it is Castello Sea Rock Smooth Freehand with Rhinestone Inlay Estate Pipe P80 Shiny Pipes. 
It is item number 261663836053. This pipe is not what it seems. It is not worth $225. You should not buy it. And it's up to you whether or not you decide to stay away from the seller Shiny Pipes and their eBay store in the future. Anyway, this has been Breaking News. I have been Bradley. Thank you. So thanks for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later.